Okay, this interview is being recorded and may be used in evidence if your case is brought before a court. We are in an interview room at the Great Yarmouth Police Investigation Centre. The time by the clock in here is 19.26, so it's Sunday, the 30th of November, 2014. My name's Tony Clark, Police Officer Station here. Can you state your full back date for that, please? Coming in, Johnson. Yeah. 29 for the 665. Lovely job. Also present? James Hartley of Northern Pesket Solicitors. Okay, Colin, you've had an opportunity to speak to Mr Hartley. That's an ongoing right, so if at any stage during the interview you decide you need to consult further, just tell me I'll stop at this and give you some uh, privacy on it. Right. Uh, you're currently under caution. The caution is you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something which you'll have a line for anything you do say, maybe give them evidence. You have it, what the caution means. Yeah. Lovely job. Uh, you've been arrested on suspicion of assault. The reason for the interview is to establish the truth and give you an opportunity to give an account. Mm -hmm. uh, with that in mind, are you going to answer any of my questions this evening? Yeah. All right, I'll hand it over to you then, Colin. Would you like to tell me what happened? Well, about 10 o'clock this morning, there was a bang bang on the door. I went to the front door. It was a bailiff that I've had previous dealings with. Um, I went out to the front of it with with my video camera. He had his video camera switched on. We, uh, he started to say he wanted to speak to my, my other half. Um, I said to him, what do you want? What paperwork are you using? You're using fraudulent paperwork. We got into a bit of a, a, a ding dong about it. He, t he then threatened me, he said that he could push me out of the way and force his way into my house. And I said to him, you're a liar, you haven't got the right paperwork, your paperwork is fraudulent. And we was going on, I was swearing at him, he was having a pop at me, and that's about the size of it. Next thing I know, two coppers come to the door, said to me, come outside, right? I went outside and then they said that I'm under arrest for... Um, Assault and ABH. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this guy you said you've had previous dealings with. Yeah. Um, do you know what to be about it? Yeah. Was it surprising, mm -hmm. Sherlock? Yeah, it was, because as far as I was concerned, the, the debt had been discharged. Which I know for a fact it has, and the paperwork that he had was fraudulent. Which I also, your coppers knew it was fraudulent. How would they know that? Because they know. How would they know? Because they know, because it was on Marston's paper. Right. No uh, judge's signature or anything else. And I know for a fact that the, the, the first warrant from the court firing what my, my other half had was discharged because she paid it. So basically he was there trying to cop fees on a fraudulent warrant. And he used this song and dance story to get me removed from the property so he could continue to harass alarm and distress my other half and my seven children. With the full blessing of Great Yarmouth Police. Have you got paid work saying it's been discharged? When she paid the bill. Has she got paid work saying it's discharged? Well, the court, no, I don't know. Okay. Who, what court dealt with? Um, Norwich Court, that was. Do you know when? Mm, I ain't really 100% sure. Okay. Do he speak to you, partner? Yeah, he does. I went and got it. Okay. And you're saying this is all recorded? Yeah. So that will show his behaviour as well as yours, yeah? Yeah. How would you describe your behaviour? Justified. 
and what that is and justified. And what was this death in the boat? About two months, I do believe. Well, it's no, no, it's the debt. We'll see what happened, basically. She had a card that she had to go and pay the fine. It's only 55 quid, yeah. right? And she was going down to the post office, but it kept refusing it, right? Yeah. So the next thing we done, we get a letter from Marston saying, right, you owe 30 pound, but you now owe us 75 pound for a letter. Mm -hmm. So I just went and paid the 30 pound that we owed, which then, in law, kills the warrant. Right. So if Marston's want to come after us for any um, outstanding fees from themselves, yeah. they cannot use that, that warrant. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm not an expert in warrants. You may well be right. You're I am right. I'm not right. Okay. And he came to the door with a fraudulent warrant. Have you researched I don't know that. Um, this type of thing? Yes. Okay. What, what is what's the um, your um, understanding of how to go about um, deal with it. Well, deal with it, you deal with them when they can't be fit. You ever heard of uh, get out of debt free? No. Or no. Uh, beat the bailiffs? No. No? Are they websites? Yes, yeah, they're websites, yeah. What, what, what is their suggestion? Well, I'm a member of them websites. Okay. So it's get out of debt free. Yeah. Beat the bailiffs. Yeah. And East Coast resistance. Okay, and do they give you a series of steps to yeah. take? Yeah. And what are they? Basically, to check the paperwork. Yeah. Know what you're looking for. Yeah and deal with it accordingly. Uh, what, what do you de deal with it for? Remove their implied right of access. Right. Which I did do. Yeah. I then asked him to leave three times. Yeah. Right, which he refused to do, which makes then makes it aggravated trespass. But by law, I have the full right to remove it. Okay, did he go? No. Did he go back to his room? Yeah, he walked back to his van after 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 we argued a bit, and that was that. Because I kept going out to the van, asked him what he was still hanging about for. What? Why would you go out to the van? To ask him what he was still hanging about for. Well, surely the, the, the point you were trying to make was once he's off your property, that's it. Huh? No, because he kept looking over at our property and he was on the phone and he, he, he was kept shouting that he was going to, uh, and did you know he was found the place. How did you know he was looking at your property? Because I can see him out the window. So you were you watching him? Yeah, he was watching me, I was watching him. Did you me? Yeah, because I wanted to know what, what he was up to. How are you feeling about all of this? Bloody angry. That the system is so knackered, corrupt. The police force are corrupt. They give you no help. We deal with criminal law, that's not criminal law. Yeah, but you're supposed to protect the people, aren't you? You're in the house, how's he going to get in the house? Right? You're well, he threatened me, he threatened to push me out of the way and, and gain entry into my house. Yeah. Did he threaten? Did he That's what he threatened. He threatened to push me out of the way and gain entry into my house. Did he push you? No. Did you push him? No. I never touched him. I wasn't stupid enough to put my hands on him when he was recording and I was recording. So you don't believe this debt is old, you believe he's there with the fraud and the thing. Yeah. Your intention of going out was to tell him that he won't allow access. Yeah. Um, how long were you out there? I couldn't really tell you about half hour, an hour. Were you out or were you in your doorway? Well, I was in the doorway. In your doorway? Yeah. 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 Okay. Was he in your garden for that yeah, time? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
advocates asking him to remove himself from the property as he is trespassing. And he just kept refusing. Which makes it aggravated trespass, which I also told him. And when the police showed up, you said you came out? They, well, no, I didn't come out straight away. I was indoors. And, Did uh, you tell them you were coming out? Hey? Did you tell them you were coming out? Yeah, they, they basically said to me, come out, and I refused. Because I didn't, I didn't, because as far as I was concerned, they were just going to try and back the bailiff. I opened the front door, bailiff walks in my house. You've seen enough videos of it on, on YouTube right. to see that's what happens, how the police um, basically back the bailiffs up um, and get their little brown envelope when they walk around the corner. What does that mean? Um, what does that mean? Get their little payoff. Oh, yeah. By bailiffs for helping them out. You know that's happening, do you? I've heard of it. Well, we hear about a lot of things, but have you got anything or evidence that? No, I've heard of it. Before. So we are up and we need to run. have a look at whoever you've seen being paid off. Have you seen anyone paid off? I haven't personally. No. Okay. No. Um, he's saying you pushed him. I've never touched him. He's saying you, you, you Have you got video him. evidence of that? We haven't downloaded the video evidence yet. Well, I think you should download the video yeah, evidence. Yeah. But this is obviously me asking you. Well, he, he's giving again. You're giving your account, so I have yeah. to ask you. Did I you never, ask I never laid a finger on him. Okay. I wouldn't be stupid enough to lay a finger on him. Did you get right in his face? We was close. Were you spitting in his face? Oh, no, I would never do that. Vile. To even suggest that. I have to ask it, but I said to you, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's going to can. Yeah, but that's absolutely and I have to give that, That's just him yeah. trying to make the, the exercise a bit bit better. Okay. Never in a million years would I ever spit. I'm a 50 year old man, I would go spit in someone's face. That's vile. vile. So you think today is, he's just showing up out of the blue, claiming that you owe money. Exactly. You've told him he's not welcome there to get yeah. off your property. You're saying although he went out to his van because he was still hanging around, you want to know why. You haven't touched him. No, no, no. You haven't spout on him. No. And you think he's telling us that to um, strengthen. He wanted me away from the property so he could right. basically intimidate my old lady okay. and my seven children. Because he was told there was vulnerable children there because I've got two autistic children. Right. He was told that, but he didn't give a toss. Which, by law, is supposed to be to walk away anyway when there's vulnerable children, right or wrong? I'm quite similar to to, to uh, Mr. Hartley there, as we don't understand that side because it comes into the realm of civil law and one thing or another. We don't cover it, mate. I don't know. I would think if they're at it and constantly at it, that'd be a little bit unjustified, yes. But I can't come all, all I can ask you is. He's claiming you've assaulted him. I've never touched him. You've never laid a finger on him. Okay. I wouldn't be stupid enough. And like I said, if I was recording and he was recording, yeah. I'd be a, a mark to have touched him, wouldn't I? Yeah. If he's being recorded, yeah. you know, so, for, so why he would suggest such a thing is beyond me. Okay. That will be investigated, Colin. But like I said, that's going to be downloaded first. Is there anything more I will clarify? No. Anything that you think is permanent that we've missed out? I did. I did accuse him of assault, uh, assaulting me yep. just before the police come. Yeah. Because I was standing by his van and he, he yanked his door of his oh, van. Yeah, I think. I think he said something about that in his statement. Yeah. And basically hurt my leg. Okay. So you stood between what? He's got the door. Open. Yeah, he's got the door open. He was talking to me and then he just grabbed his door and ripped his door closed while I was standing there. Okay. okay so that's it. Your what leg? Oh, yeah, three months. Well, I think, yeah. You got any injuries? No, no, I could say no. Okay. okay. There's nothing else I need to ask you because we'd be going around the circles and mm. that's pointless, isn't it? Um, right, I'll conclude the interview. It's now 1914.